are live in outer space riding on a giant asteroid at Sunny Alpha Stadium, home of the Galaxy Chaos. Oh, that would explain the text I just got from Event Horizon Wireless, informing me I got five grand in roaming charges. Uh, I wonder how much that text just cost me. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Crux and Skull Jugulars battle the Galaxy Chaos. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> it's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all you can eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Scrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And he made a mistake there, thrown into tight cover. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. Is unfortunate. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. He is fighting for every yard. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Third and two. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. and eight to go. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. <laughs> First and four. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Second and eight to go. Oh, man, 
and what a quarterback pass is for a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Ben. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Team last week, I lost so much money on him. Not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. It's your time to go. It's your time. Second and three. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grim. First and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. Oh, man, Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. two running backs left. 
left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this Ackman. And it's first and ten. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Well, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening lineman. You want to see the teeth growing out of the roof of my mouth? What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something Unique About Yourself. That's unique. And not the worst team dirty trick. Look at him go. He broke free and has open field in front of him. point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for you. You know what? Never mind. Change that's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. Second down and seven. It's anyone's game at the end of quarter one. Second down and seven. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message. Because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! Second down, and he... And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. And it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Is 
down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The offense lost their final running back. Lucky for them, they're on defense now. Yeah, lucky to have survived so much bad luck, carnage, and death, Grim. And it's first and ten. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Bricks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. Second down and two. Great throw, great catch, and then put six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a throw that good, Grim. You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's why he's so popular with you. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a... The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's... Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The offense is down to their final lineman, so he'll be playing center for the rest of the game. How's he going to be able to block all those defenders by himself, Grim? Well, he can't, which is why the QB is going to have to get rid of the ball very, very fast if he wants to stay alive. The defense...
defense has only two defensive backs left. The offense is going to try and inflict as much damage on them as possible. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Third down and, well, good luck. Scrambler. And the defense uses their second timeout to stop the clock to preserve time for their offense. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. team he's on i don't even know where i'm at boom dead and down he just sent a message with that hit yeah the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him ah uh, going in circles and it's first and ten First and ten. Whoa, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. The defense calls their last time out. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? Eh, just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. It's a four-yard gain. Third down and eight. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries, makers of great killer products like Groundup. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning.
We're back for the second half in a blowout. The teams line up for the kickoff. Well, the game isn't as close as the score indicates. <laughs> right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. should throw it and catch it too. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, in third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckle. The defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time. I heard that Time Warp 30 Trick uses advanced alien black hole technology. Yeah, your entire life is one big black hole. He could go all the way. Oh, man. Oh, man. Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The defense comes up with the ball. Great shoestring tackle. First and ten. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on. In the passing game, picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Second and three. Crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten.
second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. I don't think you can say that, man. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double stuffed burrito from taco hell they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Cobb.